Oh, about Shem Shai. All praises to Yahweh about Shem Shai. This is Apostle Rakal. I'm back again. Like I said, with another video. Uh, I'm going to jump right into the point, man. I ain't going to do too much talking. You see the title of the video. For the longest time we've been pushing, and when I say we, meaning the brothers here, uh, through the spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, a great millstone about the elect. And you know, we got a lot of flack up, uh, over the years because of that. A lot of other guys, and I say shalom to you brothers that's online watching. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barak Atham, Kwame Yashallah, Barak Ka Akim, Wa Akwaf. Okay. But uh, anyways, man, you know, we had other groups and different people come against us over the years because of what we was teaching, what we put, which is the truth according to the scriptures, the elect, the most high ain't dealing with all Israel, man. These other groups, these other Israelite groups, these other guys, I ain't going to go through the names. They, they Their thing is, uh, y'all going off, we got to uh, 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 deal with Israel, we can't hate our people. Oh, years ago, Back in the 90s, shit, 25 uh, more years ago, myself, uh, we always tell this story. Apostle uh, Tahar, the ball, myself, them guys, the HOD guy, HODC guys, House of David guys, they kicked us out of the school. Because that was one of the things that they said we were teaching heresies. Yeah, man, yeah. One guy who's no longer with us, he's back in the spirit world now. He said, yeah, these guys are teaching that you're supposed to hate the two thirds which shows you he was a reprobate. Because first of all, man, when I first came in the truth 30 years ago, when I first came through the doors of One West, okay, the original school, that was something that I was taught from King Masha Hapriz Ari Yagwa, man. As a matter of fact, on down the line, Lahab, Yeshaya, Shah, Kazak, the top seven, that was the vibration. That was, the, that was what was being taught in the school. That was one of the, the so these niggas in the world ain't right the hell with these niggas in the world. They wicked the two thirds. Zechariah 13 and 8, Amos 9 and 10. Those were basic scriptures that you learned when you first came in the truth. And there's many other scriptures to back that up, man. The Lord ain't dealing with these wicked, evil niggas in the street. Look at Jake is totally, Jake out here, a totally on a reprobate state. The tribes in a total reprobate state. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, brother put up Romans. Hey, brother, uh, Romans, the first chapter, the Apostle Paul went into that. When you read, read Romans, Romans 1 and 22, or Romans, the whole chapter of Romans 1 on down, the Lord ain't dealing with these niggas. I could quote more scriptures, man. I, I'm just going to read two scriptures, but I'm going to quote two, uh, 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 and I always bring this scripture out. First Peter's, the first chapter, and second Peter's, <laughs> the, the second Peter's one and one. Read them too. That goes into the elect. Okay. Come on, man. Matthew's a, a 13 and 9. Matthew's a 19th chapter. Dealing with the elect. Okay. So yeah, Israel's gonna be saved ultimately, but the two-thirds gotta be destroyed because they're too far gone. Degenerate. Uh Jeremiah 2 and 21. These young Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans are gone. They fall. The women, the men, y'all, y'all totally on a reprobate state. So they got to be wiped away like a wet rag wiping crumbs off the table. But that's okay because y'all going to come back in the reincarnation. But right now, on the first ticket, the Lord is only dealing with the elect of Israel. Only the elect of Israel knows the name of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Because you know what? You got other guys that, how you know somebody's of the elect, whether they got the name. You see? I'm going to jump right into the scripture, right? I'm going to read. This is Isaiah. I'm back in Isaiah, the 45th chapter again, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up to 4. Isaiah 45 and 4. Okay? Yeah. The, the Most High said he's going to save Israel. He is going to save Israel, but he's going to start with the elect, man. Okay, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. There goes the name again. What name? Oh, we don't know, according to certain guys, right? I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. You see what I'm saying? That's right, because the most of Israel is blinded, Hosea 4 and 6. See what I'm saying? 
right? Because the majority of Israel don't know the Most High. They don't know the, these scriptures. They don't know what you brothers know. They don't know what we know. Yo, man, we walk around out here with, with yo, man, we're, we're total outcasts from this world. But that's beautiful because the scriptures say we're supposed to be outcasts from this world, man. Now I'm going to jump over to Revelations, the 19th chapter, and I'm going to start at 9. Revelations 19 and 9, right? The book of, Re the book of Revelation, okay? As a matter of fact, uh, oh, my man. Oh, I'm going to start at 8. Okay, Revelations 19 and 8. I'm going to read that. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. The woman is who? Israel. Yahweh Shai is the bridegroom. The woman is Israel. Meaning we're the, we're, we're the bride of Yahweh Shai when he come back. Or really when Yahweh Shai died on the cross, that, that secured the marriage, man. That that consummated the marriage. Uh, that, 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 that was the, uh, uh, better yet, that was the, uh, the uh, uh, betrothal of Yahweh Shai and Israel. But when Yahweh Shai come back, then the marriage between us and Yahweh Shai is going to be consummated. Meaning that, like it says in Ezekiel, that righteous spirit. But that starts off with the elect of Israel. Because not all Israel is going to take part in this marriage. Okay? Her. The her is Israel. The fine linen is the righteousness. Meaning us being washed of all the wickedness that we committed. Sins. All our sins. We're going to have righteous garments back on us again. Okay, the righteousness of saints. And it, the scripture break down for you what it's saying. Okay, because this is the, the angel talking to John the Revelator, right? And he saith unto me, right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Yahweh Shai is the Lamb. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. That's Yahweh Shai, the elect. Because the two-thirds are not called on to that supper. They're going to have to die and go through the lake of fire, which is the nuclear destruction. And he saith unto me, these, these are the true sayings of the Most High. And I fell as, I, and as I, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. The angel said, don't worship me, get up. I am thy fellow servant. That's right. The angel, because we're angels too. We're the angels that kept not our first estate, and we were sent here into the earth to perform a certain mission. So the angels in heaven, man, those are our brothers. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, which is what? These scriptures, the word. So that's how we know, pursuing the St. John, the first chapter. See what I'm saying? These scriptures is the word and the testimony of Yahweh Shai. So when you open these scriptures and read, hey, Yahweh Shai is in the book. What Yahweh Shai said, Lo, I come on the volume of the book. It is written of me. Okay, I'm going to read on a little bit more. And I saw heaven opened up and behold, a white horse. Now the white horse represents purity and power. Okay. And he that sat upon him was called fruit, faithful and true. And, and in righteousness, he doeth judge and make war. Okay. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is coming back for war. And that's why Esau is monitoring them chariots. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head was many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, which we know the name. Okay, people get messed up over that. Okay. And he was clothed with vesture dipped in blood. And, 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 and his name is called the word of the most high, Yahweh Shai. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon the white horse, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And we could go, I could go on, but the point is there. Yahweh Shai is coming back in purity to deliver the elect of Israel, man, okay? So with that, man, I'm going to wrap it up, the elect. Because it said the marriage, the marriage is the elect. The rest of Israel is going to get it on the other end. 
But it's starting off, blessed are the day which are called on to the marriage of the Lamb. Yahweh is the Lamb. He was the sacrificial Lamb that died for the sins of Israel, starting with the elect. When he comes back, he's coming back in that power. He ain't coming back humble. He's coming back. The armies, and if that's just different, it's going to be a blood bloodbath out here, okay? So with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I hope this video was edifying. It's dealing with the elect, those who are bidden to the marriage. The two-thirds of Israel ain't bidden to marriage. They gonna be in the kingdom, but they gotta die first. Okay? So with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'll be back, Lord willing, with another video. I say Shalom Barak Kal Akim.